Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. First off, thank you, Excel. Well, for sending over the 7 inch, limited to 25 copies, and this killer long sleeve. Fuck yeah. Pretty sure the band has copies. I meant, uh, has long sleeves. I think they have t-shirts available too. Super fucking sick design, like the gold pops or orange. I'm colorblind like that, so I can't tell if it's gold or orange. But we're gonna be blasting Caligari Records, Devoid of Thought, Outer World Graves, also released on Everlasting Spew Records. This is something that normally I would say should be on vinyl just because it's very, very well thought out, well written, technical death metal of the cosmic variety, I would say. And it's fan fucking tastic. If you heard their split with um, Into Coffin or any of their demo tapes, you know how good this fucking band is. And Wow, was I not let down by the debut here. Now, Outer World Graves, I call it a full length. To me, this is a full length record. You have one, two, three, four, and five tracks at a good length with each track. Listen to how good the production is. biggest fan of like technical death metal it's just the way they do it is kind of like the way of blood incantation manages to capture technical death metal and make it very refreshing heavy and oh my god sinister sounding like it's just fucking like dark and I love those dismal like qualities like that. It's fucking sick. Like all the background atmosphere, like beyond the double kick, like so much is going on. It also has some of the sickest cassette cosmetics of the year. Caligari did a ridiculous job, like, adding the asteroids and the galaxy. Like, there's even, like, there's, like, fucking detail on it. It's just really well done. I love their logo. For some reason, and if anybody can answer this, that would be great. What happened to this band? I still have their demo compilation and it's still good. Like, I remember it sounded a lot like Demi Lich, but I heard it was like improvised. 
I don't know how true that is, but like, if it was, that's crazy. But, um, to my knowledge, this is the last thing I know of that Cosmic Void Ritual did. Just for some reason, at first, like, I remember being, I, I kept confusing uh, these two projects for some, un I don't even know why. I just kept confusing Devoid of Thought with, it was just weird, I, I don't know. My brain's fucked. But my favorite track on here is probably Effigies of a Distant Planet. It's fucking, it's just awesome. It's serious, it rules. Like, if you're a fan of Interdimensional Extinction, Error, Blood Incantation, I'd even go as far as to say, like, if you dig atheist elements, there's shit on here you'll enjoy. Nocturnus, Nucleus, your obvious suspects when it comes to cosmic death metal, artificial brain, but vocally, as you heard, it's obviously in a totally different fucking quadrant of death, and it's great. Like, seriously. Everything about this is phenomenal. And, yeah, definitely, like, tracks like Stargrave, just, just an awesome song title, great artwork. I mean, Everlasting Spew did the CD, I'm pretty sure they did the vinyl, because this obviously needs a vinyl release, in my opinion. Like... And I'm 99% sure Everlasting Spew did the vinyl release. But, um, like, the vocals are fucking amazing. Hails to Seed of Doom Records. Fucking kill. Like, they did, uh, it's Undeath and Devoid of Thought. It's a split 12 inch with the Ascentian Auto Lysis. Undeath demo, and I think you get demo number two by Devoid of Thought. Fuck, I thought the cassette was right next to me. It's over there. God damn it. It's where I wish I could use the force, you know? I do want to, you know, kind of... Ah. Here's the demo I was talking about. I always loved that cover, too, just... You know, a simple little space monster. And again, Caligari from day day one. And this has a demo version of Stargrave on it. But this starts with fucking Necronaut. Which is a... Gr fuck, it's such a great song. And... It's just killer, man. Like, uh, this is a... Cosmic Apotesis. I think I said that wrong. But, um, yeah. Their demo shit's great. Their split, great. They're one of those bands that I really feel everything they've done so far in their career is fucking great. And this is no fucking slouch. I've not been putting off reviewing this. I actually thought I already reviewed it, but I realized I'm a fucking idiot sometimes. And I didn't review this yet. And this is some top shelf death metal of the technical variety, but it's not boring. It keeps your attention through the entire runtime, and it's fucking heavy. It rules. What else you want me to say? Like, I really don't know what else to say, but fuck yeah to devoid of thought for really, really, like, again, exceeding my expectations. Because I was kind of thinking, like, you know, there's a lot of bands, they nail it when it comes to demos, seven inches, but when it comes to the full length, it just doesn't come together. Nope. Opposite. This, yeah. It's just so well crafted, like, songwriting wise. It, it's great. The riffs, the production. The drum sound, the artwork, it's, it's, the, it, it's a fucking, again, top shelf 2021 slab of 
cosmic death metal of the heavy variety, I would say. But although I mentioned some, you know, inspirations, Devoid of Thought also sound like Devoid of Thought. They have that modern death metal sound. And it works in this way that is just something special. Like, it's something that when you listen to this, you're going to be like, that's what he was talking about. Like, there's just something about this that you just need to listen to it. And it will click. And if it doesn't click, you know, whatever. Keep listening to fucking witch vomit and shit. And keep it filthy. It's, it's all good. But if this does click with you, I highly suggest. Like, if you're new to the Void of Thought... Go check out their demos. Because you'll be like, whoa. Like, this band's fucking cool. Like, again, I mean, like I said, they did do a split 12-inch with Undeath. It's not like this band is not known. But it's one of those bands you'll rarely hear anyone talk about. You'll, I've never seen a t-shirt in the wild. And, again, I fucking love their logo. All their merchandise looks great. But, like, I think it has to ship from, like, Italy. I think it's... Fuck, I always forget where... Ever, Everlasting Spews from Italy, right? For some reason, I always get that and Nuclear Winter confused. I don't know why, I just do. But, if you live stateside, Caligari has the cassette... Anywhere else, Everlasting Spew has you covered. I don't know if Caligari has CDs of this. But if they do, it would be the Everlasting Spew uh, Digi. So, um, definitely links, as always, are in the video description. Along with the Patreon. Patreon, whatever. But, um, yeah. Devoid of Thought, Outer World Graves... Debut full length, top shelf, 8.75 out of 10, like, it's one of the best of the year. If you're a fan of just like, you know, this style of death metal, it's really just exactly what the doctor ordered. Like, really, it's, trust me, when it comes to technical, cosmic death metal, this has all your bases covered and more. It's fucking fantastic. I'm repeating myself, so check out the Caligari and Everlasting Spew Records links in the video description and get in to some devoid of thought with their debut full length. Outer World Graves, five tracks of cosmic anti-life metal. Killer fucking shit right there. And as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Thank you again to Caligari Records for making today's video possible. I'm sorry it took so long to review this, but it's awesome. Fuck yeah. And as always, thanks again.